Find the general solution for the given homogeneous differential equation 4y double prime plus 4y prime plus 7y equals 0. So as always, you need to create the auxiliary or characteristic equation such that r represents the amount of derivatives being taken on y. So y double prime equates to r squared, and you leave the coefficients the same. So following that pattern, if there's only y single prime, it becomes just r, and if there is no prime on y, then it's just 7. You'll quickly come to find that there is no easy way to factor this to solve for r, so what we need to do is the good old quadratic formula, where minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a will give us that, and a equals 4, b equals 4, and c equals 7. A little shortcut I like to use is have b prime equal to b over 2, and that will allow us to simplify this quadratic formula such that minus b prime plus minus b prime squared minus only ac over a will shorten a step or two. Plugging these numbers in, we have minus 2 plus minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus ac, 4 times 7, all over a, which is just 4. Evaluating further, we have minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 28 is negative 24. Keep that all over 4. And then negative 2 plus minus square root of negative 4 times 6, which equals negative 24, over 4. And we can take out the negative 4 from the radical to become 2i, where i equals rad negative 1, plus minus 2i rad 6 over 4. And fortunately, we can also cancel out a 2 from all these terms, so it becomes 1, 1, and 2. Which leaves us with our root r equal to negative 1 plus minus rad 6 times i over 2. Now you're wondering why I flipped the terms rad 6 and i around. It's because when we end up in a situation where r is complex, we need to find the general form r equals alpha plus minus beta i. And we can quickly see what beta is from this. So r equals negative 1 half plus minus rad 6 over 2 i. Extracting alpha and beta, we can see alpha equals negative 1 half and beta equals rad 6 over 2. We have all we need now to create our solution. So y homogeneous in this situation equals e to the alpha t, where t is any random independent variable, and we can choose a random variable since they don't provide one in the problem. So e to the alpha t times c1 to create a degree of freedom such that there are infinite solutions times cosine which you usually tend to include when you see i, of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. Plugging alpha and beta in, e to the negative one half t times c1 cosine of rad 6 over 2t plus c2 sine of, again, rad 6 over 2t. And that is our solution. You don't have to worry how a lot of this is derived. Just know this formula right here and you'll be set. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.